Hi everybody. How's everyone doing? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for watching. Wherever you are watching from all over the globe. God bless you all for watching. It is well with you. Um, today's message and I want to share with you. Why must love be patient and kind? Why must love be patient and kind? Have you wondered why in uh, 1 Corinthians 13, Paul lists two um, of these attributes about love. First, love is patient, love is kind. Why patient? Why kind? Why didn't any of um, the other later attributes such as not envy, not boasting, come before these two? Love cannot exist without patience or kindness. God in his own love show us both. And if we wish to show the love of Christ to other Christians or our spouses, family members, friends or even enemies, we need to have these two virtues first in our love. Praise the Lord. In this article, We'll dive into the context of 1 Corinthians 13, uh, the necessity of kindness and patience, and how love can, cannot exist without these two. Um, what is the context of 1 Corinthians 13? Uh, the first um, Corinthians 13, verse 1 to 7. If I speak in the tongue of men or of angels, but do not have love, I am only a resounding gong or clenching simple. If I have the gift of pro, uh, prophecy and can um, and can um, fathom all um, mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor, and uh, give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast. It is the Lord, it does not proud, it does not um, dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs, Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always uh, protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Paul writes this passage on love right after he dedicates 1 Corinthians um, 12. The spiritual gift God has given Believers are a multitude of kids, none more important than the other. Paul describes each person as making up a part of the body of Christ, but how um, we best operate as an um, entity is through love, and not just mere love or good feelings. This love dives deeper. Praise the Lord. Let's take a look at what uh, Matthew Henry has to say. The excellent way had in view in close of the former chapter is not what is meant by charity in our common use of the word, word of the word almsgiving, but love in its um, fullest meaning. True love to God and man without this, the most glorious gifts are of um, no account to us, of no esteem in the sight of God. Praise the Lord! A clear head and a deep understanding are of no value without uh, benevolent and um, charitable heart. Doing good to others will do more to us if it is um, be not uh, done from love to God and good uh, will to men, if we give away all we have while we withhold the heart from God, 
it will not profit, nor even the most painful suffering. How are those deluded who look for um, acceptance and reward for their good works, which are as um, scanty and detective as they are corrupt and selfish? Praise the Lord. Amen. Without love, we are nothing. Our spiritual gifts mean our good deeds um, mean absolutely nothing. We need to love God and then love our neighbors, but not with a mere condition, humanly love, but a love that can only come from our Savior. So in this godly love, why do patience and kindness come first? Let's take a look at what um, Scripture has to say on these two virtues and what they have to do with love. What does love is patient mean? Why patient and why does it come first in the least? According to, the, to this um, Christianity article, when Paul writes that um, love is patient, he urges Christians to adopt a love that is um, purposeful, persistent, and perspective driven. Patient a love does not come naturally to us. Sure, we can love those who treat us well and who never cause us grief, but what about family members who caution wives and husbands who grow um, to resent one another? Friends who turn their backs on us. Human love will um, wither in the sight of such, um, of such people. A man, the Christianity article goes on mention that um, 1 Corinthians 13 is often read at uh, wedding ceremonies and not by accident. Once the honeymoon phrase ends for marital um, couples, friendships, and once we reveal our true natures to one another, love requires to persistence, patience. We must choose to love even in hard times that seem to last forever. Praise the Lord! Let's see what scripture has to say about patient love. From 1 Peter 4, um, chapter 4 verse 8, Above all, Keep loving one another earnestly, since love covers a multitude of sin. Proverbs 10 verse 12 Hatred stirs up strife, but love covers all offenses. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 7 Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. What does love is kind? This brings us to kindness. Why doesn't um, it come second on the list? Naturally, kindness comes after a patient, persistent kind of love. According to the Christianity, when you have committed yourself to a type of love that isn't self-serving or short sight, sight, but rather persistent and focused on the well-being of others, you learn to act kindly towards those you are called to love. You become more forgiving, gracious, and trusting. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We may truly um, to trick ourselves into exercising a kind of love, but that dissolves fa fast if we not first have patience. The kind in this passage refers to a meek kindness, but if we cannot have kindness without following the first step, let's take a look at some verses that speak about a kind love. John 5 verse 25 Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 30, uh, 22 Having purified your souls for obedience to the truth for a sincere Brotherly love, love one another earnestly from a pure heart. Verse 
Why love cannot exist without patience or kindness? The Greek, um, the Greek has many different types of love, and we may strive to love our neighbor, but without patience and kind, our um, so-called love will fizzle. We must neglect the other two items mentioned in 1 Corinthians 13. Love also does not envy, boast, it is um, not prideful, uh, does not dishonor, does not seek gain for itself, it keeps no record of wrongs, it does not delight in evil. The list goes on. And honestly, this seems like a large list that could not daunting with certain people in our lives. Without that initial um, patience and kindness that follows that patience, we cannot fulfill these other items. Praise the Lord. Amen. No matter how hard we try, we exercise this type of love by first turning to God and loving God. We see how He showed us patience and kindness. And when we do so, we cannot help, um, um, help but love our neighbor in the same way. The body of Christ cannot operate without this type of patience and kind love, and we implement it best when we first realize how much God loves us in kind. God bless.